Easy concept, but it may take some time to make. You can either you can make the long jar and the small jar, and there's gaps inside them. Looks like this from the bottom. This is made with paper, which is very easy to get. It is the paper you find when you take out a square from a letter size or an A4 size paper, and then the paper which is left, you can make it using that. You can make the small one using that, and if you want to make the long one. I will tell you in the video as the video goes. So t t today we are going to be using letter size paper. You can also use A4 size paper, but I will be using the letter size paper. I will prefer a lighter color so you can see the folds better. Now first, you take out your square. So if you need for some other craft, you can you take out a square from the paper like this. And then you cut out this part, which I will do. Yes. So now, what most people do is, they take out the square and they either throw this or they use this in something else. Now with this paper, we are going to be making the jar. We don't need a lot of big paper. So I'll just be tearing out the square, which I can use for later. Now you have your paper, it's fine if it doesn't come good, anyways this can be kept in the bottom if you don't want it or you can keep it in the front, it doesn't really matter. Now the, the next thing you need to do is after you have torn the paper out, you need your scale and a pencil, you need to divide it into three parts, exactly three parts. So right now this would be about 6 centimeters. so I just divide into two parts. If you know any other way to divide this into three parts, you can do that. And remember, if you do this part, if you do it like this, it will not be origami. Except for it, it will be origami. So. Now when you have it in three parts, you're supposed to fold them. Now I've divided into exactly three parts. The next thing you need to do is, there should be 16 um, segments over here. I do not know how much they will be exactly, but then you can start by doing this quickly. Fold it in half, that gives you two, and like this you will get this one here, like that. So when you get it this much, that means like this much everywhere, which is 16 small columns. Then now I'll be doing it. Okay. Yes. So now I've completed 16 parts. I think you can see that now. Now what I will do is I would refresh those lines it will divide from three now we to make this part of the jar we will be using this side the right side it's more comfortable and to make the bottom the left side so we will start with the bottom so you will need to take the flap and keep it to this line the line of the next one now this is one flap, the next one you have to take two of these, so you, you have to fold it like that and then you have to keep it to there and then you have to fold it. You have to make sure that the point is over there 
and then you have to fold it. Now I am done doing all of these. Now you start folding it. If you get something like this, some small tears or any thing which went outside, it's fine. It won't affect anything. Now you will start to take them like this. That is how it's coming out. Now you leave it. Do not do it now. I do not want to show it to you. And, and now, when we are done with the top of the jar, we can do it all together. So do not fold the bottom right now. Now we will do the top part. So if you see this one rectangle here, the top left corner and the bottom right corner should be passing through a line so you should carefully see and make that line and remember this should be folded this side it should not be in the opposite side then we do that again now when you're done with those two you have to fold it like that and then from these both the top right and the bottom left of this one there should be a line passing through and they should not be this side like this it should be the other way like that now you need to repeat this pattern till here So now you are done with both the sides, it is starting to look like a jar we made here. Now I will tell you what to do. After this, you can flatten it out first, then you fold it like this. Now there should be two column gap between the front and this one, the front and the back. When there's two column gap, you keep your finger here and you start folding the back. You can use your other two fingers to support your folding. There. So when you have gotten it, you slowly start to press on it and then it will go inside it. The bottom is done. Now to fold the front, we will need to fold it as shown. there you have your jar now i will tell you some tips to know if your jar is actually very good or you will not make it very good so this over here is the best jar i've made in this when you open and do this there will be the sound if that sound is coming like this that means there is no bend in this and your paper is very strong now for this one that sound is not really coming, it's not coming very well. 
so that means this is not very good now if your paper is sticking out also it may not be good but still you can see the difference there is some gap over here except for that it's good now in the inside you may say that there is some paper coming out that comes out in all of them it is hard to fix the inside and also one more thing if you ever get it with the perfect sound you can make a floating jar by keeping it down like this which I've told you in the past in the past in the video itself but that is how you can make the floating jar you can just pop out the end and it will float so that's it for today's video I will soon come up come up with a jar version 2 where the inside is actually not there it will be folded inside so it will be without this lip the jar will be lipless it will be like a lipless jar so it should i think it would look much better than this feel of something you can just pull with the rope and you close up but it doesn't work like that so thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed us please subscribe and check out my other videos thank you